Blazing Hog uh, antenna hookup or connection here. So when you receive this, this antenna that mounts outside, it's going to come with these brackets, some screws, and you're going to be like, there's not, there's not a good way to describe how to put this together. So we just did a little video. Um, you're going to mount this backing plate to the, to the modem. I'm sorry, to the antenna. You just use these bolts and you've got a regular washer and a lock washer. Just make sure that the regular washer, uh, or the, the, the lock washer is sandwiched in between the regular washer and the head. Flip it that way so you can see. I'm just doing them hand tight, but I me mean, you would give them a little snug, but they don't have to be. Um, you don't have to torque these down or anything. And this is generally where we get the greatest amount of confusion from people is when they go to mount this. Um, to this plate, this simply goes around whatever pipe uh, you're going to be using to mount it to. This plate goes in so that you've got this little curved surface facing the, your pipe. bracket like this drop on your regular washer lock washer of course it wants to cross thread but I'm doing this Now, ideally, you're going to want to leave these a little bit loose because when you're position, you know, this, the, this pole probably will be fixed in whatever situation you're using it on. Uh, so you can't typically spin the pole and then you just rotate this around the pole. Uh, you know, keep it snugged up enough that you can, you want it to move, um, but kind of also pivot a little bit so it stays in place then you can be doing uh you can log into the wi-fi when you have this connected and you can just move it like an eighth of an inch at a time and you can look and see when you have the best speeds and then once you have it locked in where you have the best speeds and you'll do the final tighten on this now at the at the other end of this you're going to have these connections and there's two of them you have to use them both on this particular modem. You see cellular one and cellular two. You just thread them on to cellular one and cellular two. Um, the modem does use both antennas to send and receive data at the same time. So you want to connect them both or to run at half speed. Uh, some modems have a little bit different type of connection. If you have a modem from us that looks like this, um, it has what are called TS9 connections, and you'll see this main and div. And you'll probably have a little bit different attachment. These aren't the best. Um, the ones that work better have a little wire on them. Um, so that's the TS9 adapter. That plug in and connected to the antenna on the inside. And then you simply do the same process going here and thread those on. So um, it's pretty simple. The I do if you TS9 connections are not the best in the world. So if you have the ones, if we shipped you the antenna, it's gonna have ones, these adapters are gonna have a little wire 
in between the part that plugs in and the thread on part, I would take that wire, put it up here on the top and just run a piece of tape across it. And that just helps lock it into place so they don't fall out. Um, if they are getting loose on these TS9s, if I can get it in here where you can see it, um, there is like a little slit um, in here. When you can simply nip that, take a pair of needle nose and you can nip those together so it's tighter. Um, but again, that's, and then if you nip it too far, just take like a tip of a ballpoint pen or something and you can stick it in there and kind of spread it back out.